Alright folks, Rick Mills here. We're in the car. We're headed down to North Carolina to visit with Darren and Bianca Baldwin. Uh, Darren's going to be our 2018 Wild Jagger Wounded Warrior. We're going to take him whitetail hunting in Maryland. And we're really going down there to link up. I haven't seen Darren in a long time. Uh, basically since 2007-2008 time frame, right after my accident. And uh, the last time I saw Darren, Darren was standing and we were having a face-to-face -face conversation. He was on his second command, being groomed for a company command or a you know special forces battalion command later. The guy was going to be a general probably. And uh, you'll see in a little while why Darren's going to be our wounded warrior. But he's a good friend of mine, family friend. The last time Darren saw Max, Max was just like one year old little baby running around. And uh, we're going to go fill it out. So we're getting ready to enter North Carolina in about five miles. And then we're going to go straight to Fort Bragg. We're going to go to the Special Forces Museum really, really quick, look around. And we're going to eat lunch at the Green Beret Club, one of my favorite places. And then uh, around 1.30 we're going to head out to Darren's place. So stay tuned and uh, see you at Fort Bragg. Special Forces Officer, I now own a company where I manage a 37 person international staff representing 27 different countries and we can do advertisements in 24 different languages. And I made that up. Nobody can do that. It's like you're drinking them. Yeah, what do we call that? Do we call that? Or we pour like five beers in a tube? <laughs> um, or what do, we, Tina, yeah. what do we call that? Oh, yeah. Like five beers in a tube and then... Oh, like the, the spring break kind of deal? You do? <laughs> I have pictures of that at home from like way back then. I don't know. What do you think? Is it funny to drink it? Is it? 
Yeah, I know, I can't remember what they got. His first sentence on the thing, it was hilarious, like, I want to drink. I want a stiff word. I want scotch on the rocks. It was the first <laughs> sentence that he did on the communication department. <laughs> and it was like, really good, not like, thanks, Bianca. You, you just kind of like, what? Like, like, oh, she knows that. Why say it? <laughs> And I'm like, no, of course you wouldn't say something like that. No, I don't think anybody would. If you haven't been able to talk for a while, would you go for something that you really want? Right? Like, yeah, I would. You got five seconds of fame. Mm -hmm. Better say something good. Exactly. Scotch, Scotch on, the on the rocks. Mm -hmm. I want a drink. I want a stiff one. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. So you got some work going on in your house? Mm -hmm. It's been since 2015. It started with our house getting flooded from a toilet overnight. It was just running. Oh my God. So that's how it started. You and have more issues and stuff. Well, it's all good now because it was all the back part of the house. So, and then they had to do the flooring and all that stuff. But then his um, grand came through with the VA for all the you know making it accessible. So we had like a, a room add-on, porch rams bathroom turned into like rolling shower it, you know it's just and so we had to move out for like we were not at home for like four months because we could live there right while right. well, they fitted the um, and now it's just like it seems to be on the there's constantly something you know what I mean it's yeah. like so from the last time from the last time I saw you everything's been progressively going to where we're at right now yeah and are you, is he still progressing? Right now, he's been very stable, stable for the last two, three years, actually. Um, as far as the brain injury right. and, and the brain and the nervous system, it's more secondary stuff now, like UTIs and pneumonias that you have to watch out for, which is more with any yeah, pain, and, so. you know, who's in wheelchair. So we're looking at the dates for 7-11 November. <laughs> You guys are available for 7-11. Yeah. So mm -hmm. 7 November is a travel day. Right. And then the hunting will be 8, 9, 10. Okay. And then, yeah, and then travel back on the, on the 11th. Like, wake up on the 11th and go home okay. so you can plan for that. So it's, but the, I mean, I think it's five days, you know, three days at Pillow Tower and the evenings. My goal is to get Darren involved in the different activities. Mm -hmm. well, I don't think that Darren can do full days. You know, we'll probably oh, yeah. give him the line for a few hours in the morning and maybe a few hours in the evening mm -hmm. during the peak times uh, for deer hunting. And you get to see maybe some foxes and some birds, and if we're lucky, we'll get a deer come through. Down to the hunting site. Does it have headrest? It has headrest, it has everything. Good. Yep. That's everything. Yeah. And uh, we're going to test all that stuff out. Like day one might even be just rehearsals. Just, might okay. Be, let's just try yeah. it out. Let's see how things yeah. work. We're going to go slow. There's not going to be any running. Everything's going to be slow. We're going to crawl and we're going to walk. We're not going to run. The run will be us sitting in the ground line waiting for a year to come back. <laughs> Are you falling asleep? <clears throat> you just can't Not 30? No, he's getting tired. That's what he does. We go to concerts, he falls asleep. So he, he said, I got some questions. Mm -hmm. Hit me up. So obviously, question one is gone. Uh, mobility issues, we talked about that. We're going to transfer you, we're going to help carry you and transfer you into Greg's wheelchair and his track fab. And then you have a little bit of head, head movement. You don't have any, yes. any arm I got movement. It. So what we're going to do is we're going to be holding the crossbow for you, okay? And we'll be aiming the crossbow for you, and then we'll try to use the sip off tri trigger if it works. If it looks like something that's not going to happen, <laughs> but we get a shot on something. So we had a really nice buck come through with Greg. And it came around, and the buck came all the way around. The buck came all the way around, and Greg was in the wheelchair, and Greg can only move his shoulder and his head. And then he has, uh, his hands are completely closed and he has his, his trigger mechanism. So he was like this. And he was as far to the right or to the left as possible. His 
the crossbow would not go any further left, and the buck was just inching forward, Weird. inching, inching, inching. And the head of the buck actually got into his uh, lane where he could see, and he, he just needed the deer to take one more step. And then the doe went that way, and the buck turned and followed the doe into the woods. see on camera is he was moving with a doe and so the doe was behind him he was between that young buck and the doe and he was trying to keep that young buck away from her and she just went in the tree line she went straight and went in the tree line she started calling I heard it going way way and he turned around and when you see him turn around he's going back in the trees after her so naturally I could have shot the four point I had a perfect shot at the four point <laughs> but uh, the big buck He's, he's going to come back around. We're going to get another shot at him, another opportunity later today or sometime this week. So yeah. what an exciting hunt. Thank you for yeah. bringing us out. And we're having a great time. And he didn't get a shot. But it was an amazing thing. We got it all on video. Oh and that was tough. But it was, it's more about the experience right. and being out there and sharing right. some time together. That's yes. what I'm looking forward to. Is, and the other thing is, like, so Kostas. He's talking a lot with his eyes, actually. Yeah. One of the other guys got a deer. And then Greg was able to come over and share in the experience of the other person getting the deer and all the, and the excitement, because it's exciting when anybody gets a deer. When we do a group hunt, yeah. and whenever a, an animal's harvested, a deer is harvested, we all enjoy that right. moment. We all come together, all the cars come together. It's everybody's success. Right, yes. in one barn, <laughs> and we're all looking at the deer and enjoying it. Yeah, so we're not gonna do we're not gonna do all days. We're gonna do some a few hours in the morning and a few hours in the evening, and then the rest of the day we'll hang out. We'll do some different events at the hotel. Like I said, we you know I don't know he's probably up and down sleeping on the way. He will literally fall asleep in concerts. I mean, yeah. the last concert we went to was kid rock, and you know it's kid rock. So yeah. at some points, all I'm seeing is like looking over to Darren. He's like, yeah. <laughs> and I'm like, so like you falling asleep. He falls asleep in concerts. He's yeah. laughing. Yeah, so so Warner, Journey, Diff Leopard, he falls asleep. I mean, we go, but he falls asleep eventually for like two, three songs. And then it's like, what was it? Forner, and it was like, he was asleep. And then it came on Jukebox Hero, and he's like, oh, I'm back. He <laughs> 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 falls asleep in rock concerts. Damn. So, Church is one thing there. Yep. So it was. <laughs> he gets tired. Yeah. yeah. It was cold there. So yes. I think Greg will probably be able to let uh, Darren borrow his clothes. So what he has is these really big, thick booties mm -hmm. and clothes. We're going to make sure that he's warm when he goes out. Right. Well, so we're yeah. We're going to get him dressed. And but he'll be able to, as far as like catheters and hoses and feeding, if we get him ready and get him in the blind, he'll be able to stay in the blind for two to three hours. Yes. Without worrying we about need, feeding. Yeah, we need any... Like, I have to intermittent cast every four to six hours. Okay. So, so let's play. He, he would be able, like, whatever, be like two, three hours at least. Okay. With you guys in the box or something. And then I could. Three hours is a long time for, yeah. to, for sitting there. For yeah. So, whatever it, it is yeah, that you let's need, plan but it's for like, you know, that's what I'm just saying. My, my time is that I have to cast. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, you're, yes, you're, I won't you're ready have, to I, sit in the blind for three hours? I don't care. Darren and I. Yeah, okay. I can good. do that. And I'll be like, I'll, I don't know, I'm going to read something. 
Yeah, no, exactly. Yeah, so, some, yeah. Do what you do, and if he needs, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna be your aid. <laughs> just ignore the rest. I'm not there. I'm a shadow. I'm making sure you stay alive. Right. <laughs> He's like, okay, it's a deal. Okay. Good. Yeah. So we're a three-person party, and that's exactly what we had. So when Greg goes hunting. Beth Trainer is Greg's wife. Mm -hmm. and she's there. She's the one that helps like cock his uh, crossbow, uh, mm -hmm. moves him. And he has to take his wheelchair sometimes because of his spinal injury. He has to take his wheelchair and lay it back. Yeah, we have that elevate. same thing. The tilt. Mm -hmm. He has to, to elevate get his feet up or, right, yeah. for a mm -hmm. while, for like five or ten minutes yeah. every hour or a couple hours. Right. We do that in the blind too. Yeah. Sometimes, you know, it's no big deal. Yeah. Whatever we have to do. And that's the same thing. He has a tilted space here. Um, and then if he has the other wheelchair, that's the like, I guess yeah. it would tilt And I think, other than that, you know, those are the big things. The key is that I'm here. Visiting with you guys, I get to see you guys. Here. It's crazy. It's been it's a long so time. Crazy. So how many years? If, if the last time we saw each other was seven or eight. Two, eight yeah. Was it was, I it remember was, it was the PX. It was the PX, you know. Well, I, so I, the last time I saw Darren was 07, because I was coming out. Because of, yeah. The six, four, so that's one. eleven years. So eleven years ago was the last time we saw each other. <laughs> now we're going on. Louise, there comes trouble. Barely see me anything more. How is your pen? Is it good? Yeah. So, folks, we're going to be taking Darren and Bianca to Easton, Maryland to hunt whitetails in uh, 7 through 11 November of this year. It is May right now. We got a few months to go. But we we came down here to make to. I haven't seen Darren in 11 years or something like that. Yes. So, we needed to see each other. But to confirm the details to make sure the hunt was going to happen. Folks, this hunt is not going to be a cheap hunt. We're looking at a minimum of about $5,000 to make this happen, including gas to get there and back and hotels and all this stuff. So if you'd like to donate to our Wild Jager 2018 Wild Jager Wounded Warrior Hunt, where we're taking Darren Green Beret Baldwin, Special Forces Type 1 each, hunting for whitetails in Maryland, you can either send a check to Wild Jager Wounded Warrior Hunt at 847 Forest Avenue. That's Browns Mills, New Jersey, 08015. Or you can go to the Wild Jagger, www.wildjagger.com website and look at Contact Us, uh, John McCollum, my partner out of New Jersey's email address. And my email address is on there. Mine's r.mills at wildjagger.com. And John's is j.mccollum at wildjagger.com. You can contact us with any other way that you'd like to donate. If you'd like to donate time, energy, or money toward this effort, we'd really appreciate it. We'd like to thank everybody that participates from, from the beginning of this uh, adventure, what we call Wild Jigger Hunting Adventure. We'd like to thank anybody that, that's already volunteered time, energy, or money all the way till the end of this event. And our hunts don't end until everybody's home safe, right? The mission's not over until everybody's, all the weapons are checked into the arms room, radios, batteries are on the charger, and everybody's at home. So we're gonna, this hunt won't be over until the taxidermy ends up. If, if you know, we get a deer and we get a shoulder mount, we end up, Bianca says it's okay that he has a shoulder mount with hair in the house. <laughs> Maybe we get a shoulder mount of Darren's deer. That's when our hunt sure. ends. So folks, thank you. And thank you for everything you're doing for Wild Jr. You can taste it. Thank you. There it is. Here it is. Did I give you one of the more? Oh, no. Can you have that put on there?
Okay, yeah. You know that screen, Beverly? I don't even have to say rack or anything. I was in the ring with Andy over here. Andy, what are you tables for the soldier that's not here. So for our comrades that didn't make it home. We always keep a plate set, glass, so we're for our buddies that didn't make it. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> 